Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is tuesday january 25th 2022 now it's time to take a brain break Now, let's go to Chanel for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, at only 12 years old, Ksenia Efremova is a Russian tennis prodigy who has an incredible potential and a good future ahead. When she was just three years old, she picked up a racket and began throwing the balls and swinging at them herself and amazed everyone with her almost perfect form. Her mom immediately saw her potential and they got her started with lessons with professionals. She also participates in other sports like dancing, but she has so much passion for tennis and is known as an incredible athlete. When, she a when asked what she hopes to achieve, Senya says, I want to be a legend, and she seems determined to be exactly that. She is truly inspirational. Now let's go to Angelie for the lunch report. Thank you, Chanel. Today is potluck day. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Angelie. Scholars, FSA nights are here. They're today and Thursday. Today is for grades 3rd to 5th, and Thursday is for grades 6 to 8th, and they start at 6 p.m. This event is for the information in regards to the FSA coming up. I hope to see you there. Let's get ready for this next iReady challenge. This challenge ends by March 11th, so let's get those lessons done. The Fantastic Hero Store is open. The store is open from 7.15 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. It's in room 114. Have a look at this schedule to see when you'll be able to attend. Tomorrow, it's the 5th and 6th graders' turn to go to the store. Let's keep building up those hero points. Yo, it was good, Patriots. We're going to have an upcoming car wash for all sports coming. We need uniform balls and gear. Car wash is on. January 29th, 10 p.m. to 2 p.m., $10 a car. Come on, let's make it a splash. Our Pines Patriots Car Wash is on the way. This event will be a great help to our school's athletes. Make sure to tell your parents about the car wash. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather high is 76 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. But you can expect another cold morning. In other weather news, an unexpected wildfire closed down an iconic bridge. Since wildfires are common this year, nobody saw this coming. What started as a small fire in Colorado spread all the way to California. Fortunately, there is snow forecast coming to both California and Colorado. So that becomes a major help. Now let's head to Scott and Sonia for today's Weird But True. Thank you, Randy. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Scott. And I'm Sonia. Here's this week's Weird But True Fact. Did you know that jellyfish have unlocked the key to immortality? The Tortorpsis Dorney is a jellyfish that has literally gained the ability to rewind its life. This jellyfish starts its life off being a larva, which is a baby jellyfish. Once these guys settle onto the ocean floor, it morphs into an adult. This jellyfish is deemed immortal because once it becomes an adult, it has the ability to change back into a younger state of itself. 
turning back into a polyp whenever it is threatened by a predator. Guess YOLO doesn't apply to these Jello. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Now let's go to Destiny for the birthdays. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Today's birthday girls are Destiny Pagan, Malia Williams, Angelia Harvard, and Ariel Webster. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Fletcher, Ms. Onley, and Ms. I'm Dan Kwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, who is the Nobel Prize named after? The correct answer is Alfred Nobel. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What does the white dove symbolize? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced in the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day! Thank you.